I think a lot of new families believe that breastfeeding should be easy and that any baby should be able to feed. In reality, oral feeding is a complex neurological task. In fact, in order for a baby to successfully feed, he must coordinate 26 pairs of muscles, five cranial nerve systems, as well as thoracic cord segments in order to protect the airway while feeding. So it's not uncommon to have new families and babies need support. At Tufts Medical Center, we take a collaborative effort and approach. Obstetricians, pediatricians, lactation consultants, and nurses work with new families and breastfeeding mothers to ensure a nurturing and rewarding experience. However, if a baby is born prematurely, feeding is even more challenging. In fact, most infants cared for in the neonatal intensive care unit don't know how to eat when they're born. Rather, they learn over time as they mature in our hospital. Understanding how they learn to eat and accurately predicting when a baby can safely protect his airway and feed without risk of choking or aspirating still remains a challenge for caregivers. So at Tufts Medical Center, we are conducting innovative research on neonatal saliva to address this problem. In fact, we've developed innovative approaches so that even in the smallest amount of neonatal saliva, we can see developmental markers that help us understand how these babies are learning to feed. In a way, it's as if these babies are talking to us through their saliva. And because of that, we can better learn how to care for them, we can learn about these processes, and we can improve outcomes.